It's summertime, baby. We are gonna catch some major <laughs> fish. Major fish. We're gonna have mayhem in a little while. It's gonna be fun, baby. Grab a drink, please. This is gonna be a long one. That's right, folks, that right there is Team Gypsy always putting a comment on the fish, all right? This episode, we are out. Captain Jess's birthday trip, we're going for Big Bass. That's on the menu, all right? Out with a bunch of cool people. You're gonna get to see them in a couple of minutes. But let's start off right now with a monstrous fish. The biggest one of the day, all right? Folks, so what I'm doing here is I'm working cameras, setting up stationary cameras to catch the bite. And I'm also trying to uh, look at some footage I'm doing. Right now, you got Mike over there. He's standing in the kill zone, all right? He's near the rod that's going to go off. Little does he know what's going to be pulling on that uh, Tony Marsh number four spoon, all right? How crazy was that, right? That fish right there, that monster, 51.4 pounds, spit that hook just that simply, all right? Look at the slow motion. You take any pressure off those fish, you'll hear us all day saying, keep pressure on that fish, keep it on that run. That's exactly why, all right? When you're pulling wire, there is zero give on this stuff. So you want to always keep that freaking wire tight to that uh, fish's mouth. Captain uh, Josh, he's always kicking that thing in and out of gear, so he's keeping pressure on those rods too, so it's twofold. The angler now is keeping that uh, pressure on that uh, fish, and the captain now is keeping that boat in a little forward motion to keep more pressure on that fish also, all right? So beware, if you're gonna get anything out of this video today when you troll and wire, that's probably one of the key things. Always keep pressure on that fish, or this is what happens. And that is no bueno when it's happening out in the water, all right? I like the pressure, let things pop right out. Don't down like that. Oh, lift that fish up. I can't believe you. Yeah. Hold it like oh, look at the mouth. Hold it like so. Oh, it just moves. Hold on. 
I caught on the Mojo 4. That's how you do it. Oh, yeah, that's the way it's you look at it. Oh, yeah, that's the way you look at it. Come on, Dad, just pick up the phone, pick up the phone. Hello? Oh, Dad, it's me, it's Anthony. You're not gonna believe this. We just got a 51 pound on this thing. I think this, I think these spoons really, really work. Twenty monsters for life. Yeah, baby, I love it. What? Let's go see Doc right now. Whack a nice fish. He's gonna get hit. No. Ready? Right? Charging by the microwave. I like when the fish runs. It can't oh, stand. Come help your pops up. Turn it out. Jonathan, he needs some help. Need you to help him out on the gypsy. Come on. Pull teamwork, make a teamwork. Don't give him any slack. <laughs> keep, keep the rod tip up for him. There you go. Don't give him any slack. Yeah. Well, that's what your dad needs on video. Is you holding the rod? That's it. <laughs> that's it. Show him the power. Oh, there he is. Cover, baby. Yeah. Yeah, he's up top. There you go. Oh, he's swimming. Yeah, he's swimming towards you. Walk back, walk back. No, it's not no. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, walk back, walk back. Keep it, keep it. Keep it. Not a bad, not a gypsy. Loving it. All right, that was Doc right there with a nice fish. But Doc's son, Jonathan, he's gonna up the game a little bit, all right? No offense, Doc. Here comes Jonathan now with the beauty. Oh, no. Gotta hold on to it, son. Gotta hold on to it. It's a big one. I, I just had that one on this camera, which is very fun. Oh, Jess, you teach him, baby. Hey. Take it, I know, take a drag, right? Obviously right now this is a team effort here, right? This is a monster fish. Jonathan is doing his damnedest to get that thing into the boat. But he's got a little help, alright? Doing a hell of a job, John. Stay with it, kid. Anything to say to the people out there? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Shallow right now. My man Andrew Green. I believe he's a Jersey guy, all right? I forgot to ask him. But Andrew Green right now, we said he's watching a bunch of the kids' tog videos, goes out there and whacks a 10 plus pound tog. What's he do? He throws that bad boy back in there to fight another day, all right? Very nice catch and release right there with the Andrew. Andrew Green, I believe he's from New Jersey. Congratulations this week's Con Shallow of the Week. Okay, folks, we also have to sneak in my man Harry from Lloyd Point doing some serious tagging. Why? Because he's got that con hat on, all right? You know anybody with a con hat gets a con shout out. Harry with a nice tog here. Kiss a deej. 10 to 30 feet of water on the jig. Now let's go into Jonathan number two with the big bears. Let's go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, in the interest of time, Jonathan's been fighting this for a long time, and here's the end of it. Tony Maja Spoon, number four, only on the gypsy. Damn, son, is that burn on the fish right now?
Yeah, folks, that was burned right there with a nice fish. Now we got Oli with a pickup. Here it comes. Right, Oldie's been fighting this thing for a long time now. These these are really long battles with these uh, trolling spoons. So Oldie, he needs a little refreshment right there. And who's he asked for? The king of beers. Guess what we have? We have a big bath bomb. Another big bath bomb. Where'd you find your big corgi? Big corgi up. Corgi up. Put some beer down in his mouth. No, 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 no. You, you yeah. keep reeling. You keep reeling. <laughs> Get him a straw. Drink, 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 drink. This is the 55. This is the 55 pounder. Jess's birthday trip right now. Monster bass on right now. Cool as full. And the chips are really gonna happen again. Yeah. Hold on, I need my, I need my three man. Three man. Uh oh, we need another one. <laughs> Round three. There he goes again. Kiko Cheese is crossing the line. To be a three bear fish. I need the bell. Oh, yeah. Here he is. Here he is. <laughs> Jay Rush, anything you want to say to the ladies right now before you put the game? Not yet. Not yet? Not yet. Is that a sea robin? That's a sea robin. My sea bass! Oh, corpus. That's a cute one, Oli. That, I don't know. Was that a bunker? It looks like a bat. That's a good one. 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 That's a why are you doing me? She's got the fish, not me. You're supposed to be telling what's going on. Stop She's got a fish on. Line. Stop saying what? I'm not talking no more. <laughs> Jesse, hook up on a Jesse. Only on a Jesse. Big strike there. I think she's going to need to give over. Real! Real! <laughs> Turn the handle, Randall. Turn the handle, Randall. Oh, yeah, baby. Come on, Gypsy Sea Bass. The right bass. All right, as Captain Jess fights this nice bass. First mate Josh, he's working on his Fitbit numbers right now. He's getting his cardio going and he's getting his numbers way up on his little Fitbit. Yay!
Stay me up, get some light racks. All right, folks, I want to thank you for watching Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors. I'm Captain Mark, Captain Josh, putting the guys on the fish as usual, all right? He's going to tell you about two seconds. As a matter of fact, right now, Cap, tell him how to get in touch with you. 516-659-3814. Visit us at www.fishgypsyny.com. Two boats, one location. We got the six-pack and we got the head boat. Reservations only. Make sure you call to book your spot. There you go. Very simple, all right? Make sure you guys book it. It's got to happen quick. That full run is killing it right now. Right now, we're getting really whacking them on the Masha spoons and number four spoons. If you're going to start off, buy a chartreuse and a white one. Those were ridiculously effective today, and they always are. Those are the two staples of trolling bunker spoons, all right? You guys could go gear queer on all the other stuff, all different colors, but dollars to donuts, I don't even know if that's the right way to say this, you will go best with a chartreuse one and a white one that's what i'm saying obviously uh if you need gear you go out and get the tony maja rods they are designed specifically for this function with those tony maja spoons the gypsy right there they have their own custom rods if you want to shoot the lock off your wallet you're going to need a big gun because those are expensive rods the tony maja ones are not expensive all right everything's a couple bucks but it's not that expensive in the scheme of things all right you need two tony maja spoon rods a couple of spoons and you're in the game right now as you can see you got kids catching fish you got women catching fish you got men catching fish everybody's catching fish Tony Marshall spoons I had the only ladies you could do it it's that simple hope this uh, video gave you guys a little highlight how you can do that uh, it's really not splitting the atom I say that a lot but uh, rod action is key we're gonna be doing a how to hopefully soon how to start to finish how to catch these fish but it's really not that difficult to do all right go out there Drag some wire, get the fish of a lifetime. Thanks for watching Kid Coach Cheese. I'm Captain Mark. I'm out of here. Hey folks, thanks again for watching Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors. Consider subscribing below, like if you like, hit the ring or the bell there, all that other jazz so you get all the upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Check out these uh, videos right here. Tell a friend and please share these.